Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and today I have a flip through of an altered book, an altered vintage book from the 19 teens. This piece sold this week, and tomorrow I post it to Canada. So even though I have shown it on this channel before, it was a couple of years ago, and I wanted it to have one last look. I'm going to show the layouts and talk about the elements and the collage and mixed media techniques that I have used throughout. So please join me. If you like altered books, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure and turn on the notifications and you will have more of them in your life. Sometimes I like to alter the cover of a vintage book, but here I didn't touch a thing because it already had this gorgeous typeface, this font, and this character, this character is already bringing all the drama. Didn't need any help from me. Inside, I started with a layout. I've just put down some French text, some plain old text from a book, and I wanted to break that up, so I made a rough torn border of some handwritten piece. On that, I put this very oversized bird who is looking at this lady. And uh, I don't know, is she singing to him? Are they singing together? That would be a story. More birds. These little post, these vintage postcards, uh, this one's from 1908, there's the postmark, and this one's from 1906, and I love this old handwriting. And I've put on there some, some black and white birds, and they're from a, a Swiss textbook from 1911 that I was lucky enough to find in a thrift store. And again, they are sort of interacting with each other. You see the eye lines pretty much the same there. So different kinds of birds, but they're kicking it around. And I made these postcards into little pockets by gluing down three sides and leaving one side open. And inside of each pocket, I have put a vintage holy card. This one is, it's actually a lithograph. It's from 1925. This collage piece came from several different books. I've just put them together to, I hope, tell a story. She is from the girl's own paper, which was a black and white magazine published here in the UK for a long time for young women. And uh, she's from around 1881. Then I added another one of those book, birds from the textbook. And the poppies I turned, pulled out of another girl's own paper and then turned upside down to anchor this part of the page. I added some watercolor to make it pop and picked that up by adding some dots that are the same color over here that I hope, again, will pull the eye across so that you don't have page page, you have one canvas. This page started with some tissue paper that had wildflowers on it. Now, when you glue tissue paper on top of text, it goes translucent, which lets the text show through the paper, and then the flowers just sort of hang there, translucent. They're beautiful. They pop. To the bottom, I added a, a little horizon here, an edge of some more wildflowers. So they're similar but different. There's some contrast there. I really love pictures of old-timey women reading books, and you can see she's got an illustrated manuscript here. This is another pocket. 
When you remove it, you have one layout. But inside I have an old postcard with a beautiful lady. And she's also wearing some flowers and has a beautiful gaze towards this lady here. This collage layout started out with a layer of math, maths, uh, mathematical text. These are tables. And on top of that, I've added another beautiful lady playing an instrument. And then these animals are... They, I, I think originally he's hunting them, which was not going to have a good ending. But now it's as if they're all listening to her together peacefully and happily. And dinner is forgotten. This lady is also from the girl's own paper. It's from a little bit later. It's from 1887. And it's a color piece. Um, she's very, very young indeed. The caption in the book originally said that she's uh, newly married, which is kind of scary. But I love the attitude that she has. And she's putting on her gloves here. And I've, I've added in this collage piece a celestial map. And to me, it looks as though I wanted it to look as though she was tossing the world, and everything that it expected of her right over her shoulder. Bye. So, of course, they told her that she was mad. And these guys are from a book from the 1930s, and they're not too happy about any of it. They'll live. They'll get over it. This piece started out as a handwritten ledger. And I added an old church, an engraving there. And this lady, who just seems to be interacting with the church in, well, as she would. I added a lot of drizzle here by spraying some ink and water across the top and just shaking it down and making a lot of happy mess. And then I also added some ink with stencils down here to make a border. And I have yet to see a page that wasn't made better with a bird's egg. If you like old black and white churches, I have just put a lot of churches, arches, and ruins of abbeys and other pieces, priories, on Etsy. They're printable and you can use them in your own work. So have a look. I put a link to that in the text below this video. This again is another pocket. And inside is a, a postcard. It says Enfant Francaise. And all I can say is that is a lot of hat. And I love it. This background was from a very old family Bible. And it's uh, one of the pages that would have been made for a family tree. You can see where it says marriage. So you would have entered the names and the dates of marriages in your family and maybe a photograph here. But instead, I used it for a background. She's also from the girl's own paper. And I gave her a, I don't know what he's saying, but it looks dishy. Because <laughs> she's, <laughs> or maybe he's shouting at her because she has a bird on her hat. And she should be shouted at. That was my cousin. And then I added some big oversized flowers from Mr. Marshall's flower book.
this is some rice paper from a book of um, from the 1920s, a Japanese book, and this was done with uh, some woodcutting. It's again, this rice paper is very thin, almost like a tissue paper, which lets some of the text show through underneath. Here, I started out with some more wildflowers. And I just tore that, rough tore it, and then put them down and added some stencil work and some gesso. And pulled that all out for some mystery. Another pocket. And in this pocket is a vintage Christmas card with a peacock. Inside, I've added more birds, including this yellow, this bird with yellow plumage that picks up the yellow in the sunflower and in the robes here and in the stencil work. Over here in this pocket is an old timey invoice. This is a wrapper. It's called that because when they got ready to mail these, they did not put them in envelopes. They wrapped them around themselves. So this is an old French wrapper. Here I got lucky and I happened to have two vintage postcards or cards that I got at a a vintage postcard show here near Swansea. And these colors are so beautiful. I don't see those very often. And over here, this started out as a, a card and it's got this lilac and lace. It's textured, detailed. And inside I've added a tiny carte de visite. And it says that the studio was in Worcester. I actually love this layout. It's not very colorful, but it's it's got a lot going on. I added a French dictionary page to start with our background. Then again, I rough tore some handwritten letters uh, with some very dark ink that really popped and made a border there and another one to break up the uh, the page here. This is from a book that I found trash picking and it was um, like from the 1890s and it was about botany and it had a whole section on mushrooms and fungus and this is some kind of a, well, a fungus. But I thought it made an excellent, very strange chandelier, or what you will. Originally, they were attending a wedding, and they're about to throw out some flower petals. But I think the way I've cut it out here, it looks like they're sneaking. Something sneaky. And finally, I finished up with some oversized flowers from Mr. Marshall's flower book and another pocket. This is from a field guide to butterflies and I tore out a page and just cut all around the butterflies making a very delicate pocket and this is some stencil work of arches. Inside is a letter an envelope with really beautiful handwriting and another tiny cabinet card. Button boots and look at that collar. If you like altered books, I have made printable scans of several of the layouts in some of my altered books, and they are available on Etsy. 
I've put a link to that in the text below this video so you can go have a look at those. I also have a link to more altered books that are on my website and the altered book playlist here on this channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned because later this week I have, next week, I have another collage tutorial and what's new in the studio. Until then, happy making.